Hey guys, Silence here. here. Welcome back for more Uta Macross and Macross news. Uh, yes, we are doing a compilation of both Macross news and Uta Macross content at this point of time. Um, while Uta Macross is still in, you know, functioning. <laughs> uh, and of course, uh, just a heads up as usual, because of my full-time job now, um, it will be a bit hard to produce brand new content as much as I want to and of course as quickly as I can so I really appreciate um, you guys who are still sticking around especially for the Uta Macross content, Macross content and of course the other stuff that I do for this channel be it Digimon card game, otaku culture, you know that kind of stuff um, so yeah um, I will talk about the Macross news first based on its release period so first things first, of course, the American fans already know about it and are probably very hyped up about it as well, which is the two Macross Frontier movies, Hitsuwari no Hime, uh, Utahime, and of course, Sayonara no Tsubasa. It's coming to the US cinema scene. Um, so yeah, Macross fans get to watch the two Macross Frontier movies in cinemas with, of course, the uh, wonderful surround sound system. Um, you know, uh, the full cinematic experience, but for us old Mac school Macross fans, um, be it from the SDF era up to this point of time in Delta, we've probably already seen the Macross Frontier movies uh, countless times, especially if you are um, starting the franchise from Frontier, then of course moving backwards to SDF, Macross 7, then um, Macross Delta, like I did. Um, I'm, I'm definitely a born Macross fan from the Frontier era. Uh, yeah, so for those of us who were big fans of Macross Frontier, I'm sure most of us would have probably seen the moon movies countless of times. But you know, of course, we probably never ever had a chance to experience it in the cinema, uh, like most of the Japanese fans have, unless you guys uh, living in Japan, working in Japan, you know, or happen to fly there just to catch the movies, that kind of situations. Um, but yeah, American Macross fans are finally able to experience it in cinemas. Sadly to say, the rest of the world are left in the dust as usual. <laughs> Even though, you know, they always mention global release, but somehow or rather, it's only America that always gets the piece of cake. Um, but. I'm fine with it to be honest because um, I own the Blu-ray sets for both movies. Um, I can watch it whenever I want to. You know, even though the home system isn't exactly like cinema quality, but it is still something to enjoy with. Um, you know, Macross Frontier can be enjoyed anytime, anywhere. It is a timeless front, uh, rather Macross series movie, just like. Um, you know, I owe Boyute Maska. Uh, yeah, so, anyways, with that aside, let me know your thoughts down below if you guys are from America. Are you guys excited? Are you watching the movie in cinemas? How many times are you gonna watch it in cinemas? And of course, for those of us who are outside of America, what do you guys think about this news? Are you guys jealous of the Americans or are you just happy for them and of course enjoying the cross frontier movies in your own home <laughs> like i am um, and of course let's move on to the next macross news which is the sdf macross celebration um which is going to happen with the tezuka museum as well we've seen crossover illustration works with tezuka um and of course macross before especially during the time when they had the fashionable macross uh, crossover uh yeah so it's not the first time that we've seen macross characters uh, you know illustrated by tezuka style and yeah so sdf macross is getting its own flair of tezuka flavor this time around so yes the event will be at the museum um, and of course, it's occurring next month, the 1st of July, and Japan up to, you know, uh, I think it was October 24th? Yeah, so uh, 24th of October, uh, that will be the last day, so if you guys are going to Japan because, you know, 
there are rumors that the borders will be open sometime in July. So yeah, for international fans, there is a chance for you to try and you know uh, pay a visit to this exhibition that's going on. So yeah, pretty exciting news for international Macross fans as well, especially for those who um, celebrate the SDF Macross franchise. Uh, for me, mm, I'm okay with it, it I, but still not too much, um, you know, of a huge fan of the original Macross uh, because I, I wasn't born in the era <laughs> and I didn't start off with SDF Macross. I enjoyed the series, I enjoyed the movies, I enjoyed the characters, but still not that huge a fan to buy a plane ticket to fly over and, you know, take a look at the exhibition itself. So yeah, anyways, um, I think, wait, let me see. Um, so the ticket pricing is 700 yen for an adult. Um, high school students or rather teens uh, only pay 300 yen, I think. The, yeah, and then of course, primary school or youths younger than teens um, only pay 100 yen. That's actually pretty cheap. <laughs> Poor adults, 700 yen. Oh, goodness. Anyways, uh, that's just the ticket pricing. We still have yet to talk about all the merchandising that's going to be sold there. Then of course, Tenjin, our uh, wonderful Mecha Illustrator for the Macross franchise, is going to be involved with the full transformation of the um, huge Macross battleship. Uh, I don't know if it's one. I don't know. It's definitely not one to one scale, but it's it's still huge. I think the Americans have probably seen something like that before in their uh, Macross Con in the US, um, created by a fan. So this time round, Japan is trying to do the same thing with official, um, you know, artists and of course um, Mac designers. Anyways, um, pretty exciting stuff, especially for the Japanese sites. Um, the Americans definitely will have more experience with all this um, extremely huge design stuff um, because, well, they have larger space in their countries to create such wonderful, uh, I guess, models? I wouldn't call it models, but yeah, I guess robotics as well because self-transforming. Hmm. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much all the big Macross news so far. Um, there, there's definitely smaller news, but I don't think it's really worth mentioning, uh, especially for international fans. So yeah, anyway guys, if you guys think that I missed out something important to talk about, let me know in the comment section down below as well. And of course, let's move on to Uta Macross, which is quite a bit of information. So yes, this video is technically going to be a very long one, but you know, it's, it's kind of expected uh, nowadays with Uta Macross stuff. Alright, so in the last Makutoma um, live stream, we were surprised to hear Uta Macross information, <laughs> considering that this month is the last month of operation for the game. Yes, Dana and Macross Big West is collaborating once again to kind of preserve Uta Macross, kind of. Um, because, well, they're gonna do the Uta Macross 3D live finale, um, just like they did in the past before with the 3D live concerts for Uta Macross. Um, so basically, they're gonna do three days worth of um, live with all the songs available in Uta Macross. So yes, all four Macross TV series um, that had their songs inside the game are going to be featured and of course um, they're gonna do the professional editing style. Uh, unlike ours, <laughs> the fans that are, uh, the, you know, the fans of Macross who have put it up on YouTube, you know, wherever you are in whichever part of the world. Um, because one thing um, that is mainly different from us and Dana's production is that they they have the authority to remove the watermark on the bottom left hand side uh, and of course they are able to record everything and upload everything in a higher resolution uh, I know you know, I know there are some Macross fans out there who put record game in 4k or 8k resolution I have no idea how they do it considering that it is a mobile game Maybe they played the game on PC and recorded the stuff there. 
Of course, having PC specs, you can probably up the resolution by a tiny bit, but still, the game was designed for mobile devices. Probably the highest resolution you can get is maybe from a tablet because it has a bigger screen uh, and probably a slightly better processor than some mobile phones out there. Still, um, with Dana's capabilities, I'm sure they will put fan productions to shame. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Anyways, so take note of the three days that um, the, the live concerts, I guess, is going to happen on the official Macross YouTube channel. So make sure you bookmark those days. It's on the 24th of June, 25th of June, and of course the 26th of June. All happening at 7.30 p.m. Japan time. So uh, for those of you who are outside of Japan, uh, adjust your timing accordingly to the world clock. Um, and of course, uh, take, take a look at what Dana has produced. Definitely it will be a bit more exciting than what the fans can do. Uh, I myself feel a bit uh, saddened because <laughs> I put so much effort to archive all of these songs. Well, technically I'm not even halfway through, but I'm recording as much as I can with as much free free time and energy I have remaining for my job. So it is pretty tiring and, and then this information came out and makes me feel a bit uh, redundant. <laughs> uh, anyways, it's just the songs that they are doing so i i'm still trying to archive the costumes and all that for cosplayers to use uh i probably may not do episode play images because that's another whole lot of energy and stamina needed so there are other people out there who are archiving episode play images so i'll leave it to them uh, i know a few japanese people who are doing that so yeah anyways Let's move out of the Macross news and updates. Well, I mean, technically, this is kind of a Macross news and Utah Macross news. So let's talk about the stuff that's directly happening in Utah Macross right now. So, a few days ago, when the first finale event began, so I was quite surprised if you go into the finale um, event page. We, we all know what are the four songs that we voted for that we wanted to perform in the finale uh, the last period of the month. I'm surprised to see all four songs within the first event itself. Um, is this going to be a you know occurring theme throughout the rest of the three events as well where all four songs are just going to be there for every single version of the event? So that's pretty interesting. Then of course, if you can see in the bottom left hand corner here, we have a brand new rewards. Um, so I'm gonna do this. Um, we're gonna tap the event tab and you can tell that there's a brand new ticket. So yes, if you guys notice the, um, you know, the, the notification load screen when you started this event, uh, they mentioned brand new event items that you can attain. So the tickets are basically it. So the tickets are pretty easy to attain every time you play a song be it within the event page itself or outside maybe you're trying to get tickets for the event to play. Um, you will still t attain all these special exchange tickets and it varies in quantity depending on how you play the song. So let's say for example if you play uh, the event song or the regular lives normally that means using your fingers and thumbs to actually play the song instead of the skip ticket you will technically gain more tickets that way than using skip tickets however <laughs> it, it, it is pretty tiring thing to do uh, especially you know if you don't have a lot of time and energy to play manually uh, each day so here is my recommendation so if you went into the settings or rather the menu tab and then go into the chaos exchange you would know that you could buy skip tickets so aside from all the monthly um, gifts that you can give to your diva you can also buy kawawa dolls now uh, if you have a lot of currency as like me of course the kawawa dolls they have a limit quantity, they have 20 of each dolls that you can purchase. 
Then of course, the more important stuff, aside from all the gifts that you can give to the divas to improve their affection levels, which technically should be all maxed up by now, um, you can buy all the fragments as well, uh, 400 quantities each item maximum, so as you can tell I've already bought some of the secret stones. Um, these are important because I'm just going to buy up everything right now. Um, because you should technically be powering up one or more of your episode plates that's going to help you gain high scores, you know, improve your event quantities of rewards, that kind of stuff. These kind of items you should technically be buying, you know, to the max. And of course, you have all these um, cross stones, um, basically to power up your costumes, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, all these kind of things you should technically be playing around with. And of course, you can actually buy live skip tickets. And there is no maximum quantity you can buy. So basically, you just have to keep skip ticketing throughout the whole day uh, and gain all those wonderful, wonderful um, exchange tickets that you can get now. Now, why is it so important to gain those tickets? Because these tickets, as you can tell, you can exchange for... 1 to 4 star episode plates and 5 to 6 star episode plates and that includes all the rare 7 star episode plates here so initially in the past I had to help uh, I had to get help from you guys to try and archive all the costumes and all that kind of thing but when the event started for the last month of Ultime Across the service they released this exchange ticket program technically I can archive everything by myself now but for those who have actually helped me out for recording the costumes and all that kind of stuff I will still credit you for whichever costume that I initially asked you to help me with um, but of course I will probably use my own recording now because um, yeah it's easier that way anyways so I really really appreciate all those um, fans out there and friends out there who have actually helped me out with archiving costumes, um, live performance. Um, so yeah, really really appreciate it. But Dana has made it a lot easier now. So I I will push myself to uh, put out the best quality stuff as I can. Uh, so yeah. So for costumes that you have yet to attain, guys do not forget, we are still getting free episode plates from Dana um, due to all the voting that we've recently been doing like for each of the specific divas they're gonna give us one uh, top voted episode plate that all the fans want and yeah so make sure you save enough of these exchange tickets as you can tell I've got like 1002 each of the six star episode plates that become seven stars only require 450 and yeah it's pretty easy to attain so basically all you have to do is just exchange for those episode plates that doesn't have a one quantity it means those are the costumes that you are missing so yeah that's one thing to look forward to now of course if you're trying to archive maybe the episode plates voiced um story you know all the seven star and six star episode plates actually come with voiced stories um by the seiyus you know if you want to power them up to get the entire voiced archive that's another thing you probably need to do <laughs> so yeah guys that's pretty much all the stuff that i have to say regarding the last bit of Uta Macross. um i wish you guys all the best for the last few days of the service of this game get all the episode plays that you really really want and of course all the costumes that you are missing out on um, they even included like the latest uh, Chaos Exchange episode plate in here. So let me just see. It's it's technically here, I think. Maybe it's on the five to six five. This is like okay. So let me just do this change very quickly. It's a Frontier episode plate. If I'm not wrong, it's Rankas. So yeah, let's see. The latest one actually has Ranka's mom in there. There it is. So it's this episode plate. So this is actually the brand new Chaos Exchange episode plate uh, for this month, which is the last one. 
if we take a look here under the zodiac metal there it is so yeah this is the episode play so if you are an episode plate image hunter you definitely need to exchange all this stuff because this episode plate was only featured on this month so yes if you are looking to collect every single episode plate image you have to exchange for everything you are missing for which is gonna take a lot of effort to gain that amount of tickets so yeah guys anyway guys this is it it's a pretty long video but we had to go through everything that is happening around like cross at this point of time be it the official uh, events you know and of course the ending of Upa Macross guys let me know your thoughts of everything in the comments down below and of course if you are new to the channel welcome to the channel sorry my mind is trying to think up of a, a nickname <laughs> for like the space in this channel I don't know uh, you know considering the Macross is regarded to space battles and all that stuff maybe i should go with something along those lines if you guys can think up of something for me let me know in the comment section down below make sure you subscribe if you're new if you have not new and you're not subscribed what in the world you are doing <laughs> click that subscribe button like share and i'll see you guys in the next video soon i'm, I'm probably gonna edit the uh digivice bracelet I can't even think of the name of the device right now. Oh my goodness. I am extremely tired even though it's my off day. <sighs> it's, it's tough. <laughs> See you guys soon. Bye.